Dedicating our temples uh, to, to, to the Most High, uh, uh, being uh, our, our spirits and our and our souls uh, in this spiritual walk. So, uh, watch the lesson. Uh, I wish everybody God speed and health, and and uh, keep on fighting this this fine fight of faith. All right. I don't know what what you got. <clears throat> I mean, you said you said it all. You okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, definitely, it's a blessing to be a part of this uh, commemoration uh, for the Most High to uh, woken us up to be a part of it. <clears throat> all right. And uh, you know, again, it's just a blessing to uh, know the truth and to be following the Most High and uh, just walk us out. Deacon Army, yeah, just want to say happy feast of dedication uh, to all our GLC families across the world, across the country, everywhere. And I just ask that the Most High continue to uh, bless us and watch over us and help us to endure these trying times that we got coming ahead. And, uh, on this all right, let's go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Brothers' heads uncovered, and sisters' heads please cover. Shema Yasha Allah Ahaya, Allah Haya Nawa Ahaya Aka. Shema Yasha Allah Ahaya, Allah Haya Nawa Ahaya Aka. Hear, O Israel. Hear, O Israel. The Most High our power. The Most High our power. Is one power. Is one power. Give it up for the Lord. Next up, we're going to have the reading of the Ten Commandments. All right, we're going to get ready to read the Ten Commandments. Turn with me, if you will, to Exodus chapter 20. And when I get to verse 3, repeat after me. This book of Exodus chapter 20, and verse 1. And the Most High spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy power, which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Verse 3, thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above. Or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above. Or that is in the earth beneath. Or that is in the earth beneath. Or that is in the water under the earth. Or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. Nor serve them. Nor serve them. For I the most high thy power and make jealous power. For I the most high thy power and make jealous power. For the most high will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. For the most high will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Most High thy power. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Most High thy power. In it thou shalt not do any work. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter. Thy manservant, nor thy maidservant. Thy manservant, nor thy maidservant. Nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. Nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Most High made heaven and earth. For in six days the Most High made heaven and earth. The sea and all that in them is. The sea and all that in them is. And rested the seventh day. And rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Most High blessed the seventh day and hallowed it. Wherefore the Most High blessed the seventh day and hallowed it. Honor thy father and thy mother. Honor thy father and thy mother. That thy days may be long upon the land. That thy days may be long upon the land. Which the most high thy power giveth thee. Which the most high thy power giveth thee. Thou shalt not murder. Thou shalt not murder. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. Nor his man servant. Nor his man servant. Nor his maid servant. Nor his maid servant. Nor his ox, nor his donkey. Nor his ox, nor his donkey. Nor anything that is thy neighbor. Nor anything that is thy neighbor. All right, now it's time for some blessings. Y'all need some blessings up in here. Yes. Come on now, do you need some blessings up in here? Well, we're going to ask them to rain down over all of us. No raincoat, no umbrella. We want them blessings to drench all over us and get us soaking wet with them. Am I right, y'all? Come on.
very special day to the Most High. It's the it's the feast of dedication or the feast of lights. All right, and today's lesson is in dedication for that understanding. I'm glad we got some new people here that are visiting. Um, there's uh, some, uh, some very special personal guests of mine that have been invited and everything. So. Uh, it's, it's uh, I won't say ironic, but I will say it's the will of the Most High that that these people are here because in the in the in the light of the Feast of Dedications, Christ fulfilled this by Himself dedicating Himself to being that sacrificial lamb for all of Israel. All right, we're going to get into the understanding of this. This is just part one. Okay, so you got to come back next week. Come back, come back next week. To get part two. So let's jump right on into the lesson. I got my deacons to the left. I got the deacons to the right. We got we got uh, Danya Allah over here. He's going to be reading. Let's jump right on to the lesson. It's that time of year again when the whole world seemed to be drunk on the spirit of the fall and winter pagan holidays. Yeah, I'm not going to lie either. You want to be quiet over there. Let's hush up now. All right, start again. It's that time of year again when what? When the whole world seemed to be drunk on the spirit of the fall and winter pagan holidays. Right. Very few have any knowledge of what the Feast of Dedication is, and even fewer celebrating and keeping the feast. It can be a challenge not to celebrate the pagan days that the rest of the world is partaking in. Mm -hmm. Much persecution can come from family and friends for celebrating something that is so foreign and far removed from their minds. See, I like how the, uh, the elders are kind of starting with that persecution because when you go back in history and the origins of the Feast of Dedication, our ancestors had heavy persecution. Not to the degree where you are being persecuted by your family members to partake in the holidays but it's persecution nonetheless. Are you like our ancestors and holding your God's holiday, or should I say holy days down? Like how Judas Maccabeus and the, and the gallant army that he had of, of Jews, or are you succumbing to the, the pressures of the persecution and, and losing the battle while we're trying to rededicate our temples? Like how they tried to, like how they were successful in dedicating uh, a, a temp, the temple uh, to the Most High. Well, let's take a look at that. Let's read. Let's take a look at the importance and significance of the Feast of Dedication with hopes that it will instill in us the same level of motivation and dedication as it did our foreparents while helping us overcome the pressures of celebrating. Right. Now, when you decide that you are dedicating or rededicating the temple, that's just one phase. And the Most High is proud of you. Christ is proud of you for taking that such a serious step. But it is the process of going through the persecution, going through the what? The ridicule, going to uh, the, the fact that your, your parents and, and your, and your uh, ancestors or your, your, so I say your relatives are coming down on you for not doing Christmas and all these pagan holidays, you standing in full resolve against all odds and still holding down the most high holy days according to the Bible, that's what's important. It's not how you begin. It's not how you start. It's how you finish, right? Let's go to First Maccabees one one. Let's read that scripture real quick. And y'all, and you know, and else that don't have the apocrypha, and you don't have these uh, these scriptures, it's right here on the board, right here on the board, right here on TV monitors. This ain't uh, this class, but it's not a class where you got a chalkboard uh, on the monitors. There you go. All right, the Book of First Maccabees chapter one verse one, and it happened. After that, Alexander, son of Philip, the, Ma the Macedonian, who came out of the land of Chittim, had smitten Darius, king of the Persians, and Medes. 
that he reigned in his stead. And the first was a grief that every one of in one end of the earth to the other should follow the customs as well as the law of the land, that everyone should be one people. And if you look today, majority of the world from country to country is following and celebrating the American version of Christmas as one people. This ensures that Israel, which has been scattered to the four corners, will drink the wine from the cup of Babylon, keeping these pagan holidays, customs, and traditions while living in ignorance to their own true heritage and way of life. Wow. Wow, and that's what we're looking at through a glass darkly with the rest of our people out here following these pagan holidays. I feel it too. Knowing what I know now that everything rides upon the importance of following and coming back to the Most High while we're out street preaching and trying to wake our people up and them rejecting their own heritage, rejecting their own power, rejecting their Savior and true Lord of Israel, known as Christ. Hebrew name being Yeshaya. Because this time around, there won't be another captivity for our people. This time around, when Christ returns, it's total destruction of all wickedness. That's why it's imperative now that we try to at least work with our parents, we work with our cousins and our relatives and, and, and that are out there in the world and try to get them to see, but we must make sure we follow the ordinance of God. After the first and second admonition, you have to, you have to let it go. You have, to, you have to wipe the dust off your feet. Because these people later on will be the ones that will turn you into the authorities. They'll turn you over. to save their own worldly wickedness. They'll use children against you too. You have to be careful. We're living in some very serious times, brothers and sisters. Read. Where are we going into? Uh, 1 Maccabees 154. And now on the 15th day. Now on the 15th day of the month cast loose, in the 145th year, they set up the abomination of desolation upon the altar. Okay. And build it idol altars throughout the cities of Judah on every side. Anytime you see idols on altars, you 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 know it, you know it's the Roman Catholic. You know it's Roman Catholic, you know it's Greek. You know it's Roman Gecko, uh, Greco. Uh, yeah, yeah. Greco? Yeah, I'm right. I was thinking of the Geico. I was gonna say Roman Geico. No, Roman Greco. Uh, people, Edomites, heathens, whatever you want to call them, right? Okay, read. Verse 55. And burnt incense at the doors of their houses and in the streets. And when they had rent in pieces the books of the law which they had found. So, so they found the books of the law, these heathens. They began to rip them up. They began to tear the books of the law up. This is where you get book, the Bible burning from. Okay? So, so uh, don't 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 be mad at Hitler. He's just doing what his what, what, what he what his ancestors taught him, right? So so when they had rent the pieces of the books of the law which they found, they what? They burnt them with fire. They burnt them with fire. Read. And whosoever was found with any book of the testament, or if any or if any committed to the law. The king's commandment was that, that, that they should put him to see every time it's dedicated to you. you know, that's why when I post it on Facebook, you don't see that. You just see pieces of dedications. You see some lights in there. I use the one that the Gathering of Christ Church uses because we're not to deal with that artifact. Everybody wants to use that artifact on a menorah. No, that's Jewish. Yeah. You're, 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 you're dealing in Hanukkah now. Okay? This is dedication. This is, Mac this is Judas Maccabeus. And his men and the people of Jews of Judah rededicating the temple, which is us rededicating our temple to Christ. Christ is our light. He's the way. He's the life. He's the life. No one can go to the Father but by him. So that's the he's he's our menorah now. He's the light. Right? All right, I just wanted to share that. We, we, you see the candlestick. Like, I'm gonna go get me some candlestick now. Don't go get me no candlestick. <laughs> 
Christ is your king. B. That they might give light in the, in the temple. Furthermore, they set the loaves upon the table and spread out the, the veil, the veils, the veils, like it, and finished all the works which they had begun to make. Right. Now on the five and twentieth day. Read what scripture? Maccabees chapter four, verse fifty-two. Go on, here we go. Now on the five and twentieth day of the ninth month, which is called the month of Kislev, the doors of one hundred forty and eight year. Thus was the there very great time. gladness Lord. among the people. Yeah, and, and we think, and this is the, we should look at this and have, and that's why we're going to break bread, and we're going to feast, and we're going to smile, and, and 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 enjoy each other, and remember our ancestors because this was a great day in in our people's history books. Right, go ahead. For that the reproach of the heathen was put away. Moreover, Judas and his brethren, with the whole congregation of Israel, ordained that the days of the dedication of the altar should be kept in their season from year to year by the space of eight days. Right. From the five and twentieth day of the month cast moon, with mirth and gladness. Right. At that time also they built it up. The Mount Zion with high walls and strong towers round about, mm -hmm. lest the Gentiles should come and, tre and tread it down as they had done before. Right, and that's all they're going to do when it comes to us because they don't like us because of who we are in Christ. They're always, first and foremost, are going to always want to see how they can defile us. You keep that in mind when they offer you things and they try to de be friends with you. You always. In the back of your mind, you're always going, what's the, okay, what's the end game here? Where do you see, what's the catch? In wars where there is such great disadvantages. This not only shows the power of the Most High, but shows the power we have in him when we come back to and keep the, the covenant that he made with our forefathers while having the faith, confidence, and belief that by doing so, he will deliver and save us in the most dire circumstances. Stay tuned for next week's part two on the Feast of Dedication, as we will go into more history behind the Israelite festival, as well take a look at a deeper meaning of this feast with the death and resurrection of our Savior, <clears throat> Yeshua. Let us remember the dedication of our ancestors and the courage they had while facing death, displaying great bravery and standing firm in the covenant that the Most High made with our forefathers. May you all be blessed and enjoy the true holiday of the winter season. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.
Who gon' rap with Christ? I wanna know. Who gon' take this roaring lion and do the race and we ain't Who gon' be the That's my question. But they steady be lying. Who gon' keep their word? I gotta see. Who gon' recognize these signs? E in time, they as clear as can be. Who gon' man up, rule in his house? Who gon' take a stance where the pants stand? Don't get mad. Who gon' be a bomb the boat man eat that pig? Who gon' miss that scene looking back like lost white? Who gon' be not alone but to one another? Who gon' admit to being jealous of his sister or brother? Who gon' have loose lips? Ready to tell. Who gon' give in to the beast when you can't buy, can't sell? Who gon' be a soldier ready for war? Who gon' go A on the duty call, never seeing it no more? Who? Christian and Muslim, I guess. 
Jesus of saints. When you keep the commandments, when you're walking with Christ, you know the world that can't stand it. Everything here is vain. My mind don't have any things. Like the Father, the Son, the Spirit, kings and queens. Even though I was wretched, I still got accepted. He give more grace to the humble, but the proud get rejected. Calculated my moves. I'm crying out loud, don't you hear it? Don't it feel so good when you're doing something? Yeah, he got 